Jillian Hyde is going to be joining us. Um, JN Small Business has had a very long history of supporting small businesses in Jamaica and to maintain their viability even during the difficult times. And uh, Jillian is going to be talking to me a little bit about, first of all, Jillian, I want to start with what are your clients saying about how they have been affected by this outbreak? Thanks so much, Delia, and good evening to Jamaica, and thanks to Dr. King as well. Um, it's really a tough period for our GNSBL clients. Many of them have been impacted from day one, um, and everybody, as Dr. King said, is going to be impacted in a different way. So some people are fearful. Some people's business has stopped. Some persons have slowed down. Some people are being impacted by the different the two quarantine communities that were implemented. And so it really has been a diverse set of different areas that have been impacting persons. Um, it's very, very important though that we recognize that over the years we've traveled through many disasters with our clients. We've traveled through hurricanes, we've you know seen many through fires. And so they've proven to be very resilient people. They are survivors. They are persons that are going to get up, brush off, and be ready to go. I've been very impressed by persons trying to reach out to us even before we, we get to them. And so, though it is difficult now, the onus is going to be on the partnership that we have with them, that relationship to really see them through these difficult times. All right. Um, the, everyone's watching. What kind of advice? Um, can you provide to your clients at this point in time? Because you've said it, um, there, there's so many things. There's the personal concern, but the business has to survive. So, so first, what, what are the business points you have to give them? And then what are some of the personal things, Julian, that they can do? Right, so we have, the first thing is we want to invite all of our clients. We've been spending the last couple of days and we'll be spending the next couple of weeks reaching out to every single client that we have. We want to have a discussion with you. There is not one shoe that will fit every single client. And so we really are designing a customized thing to ensure that we can meet each client where they're at. So we want to know what's happening with you. Um, we know the relationship that you have with us and then we see how we adjust from there. Importantly, we want to make sure that they get the psychological support as well. So we are empowering our teams, ensuring that we are feeding that team so that that team can ensure that they can provide some moral support for our clients. Our clients over the years really has been built on a strong, strong relationship with our team members. And that is what is going to carry some of our clients through this difficult period. So we are working on our team so that our team can in turn really add the moral support that will be necessary at this time. So really encouraging our clients to call us, talk with us, um, be open and transparent with us. We are ready to serve them in whatever way it takes to ensure that the business can continue. As you have some um, businesses as we speak that have been able to downscale and still do some level of businesses. Um, there are some businesses on the other hand that we will have to extend some serious discretions on the loan terms that exist to ensure that those persons can get back up after three to six months or whatever it takes um, after that to ensure that they can get funding and be up and running. So there are different um, approaches that we will take for different clusters of our clients. What I'm hearing, Gina, is that it's best to, to come in, contact, um, you know, your customer service representative here at, at, at JN because they will also give you the technical guidance that you need because right. if it is that the business has to be restructured, if there are technical things that were outstanding that, you know, need to be put in, that JN is willing to come in and assist at that level. Right. And I am I'm reiterating that we have the capacity to do that. As I mentioned, we have each client is assigned to a specific team member who deals with their account from origination of the loan to closure of the loan. So we have the capacity to do that. That's how we have been built over the years. And so we are going to use this as a good opportunity to ramp up even more on those relationships to ensure that we can serve 
each plan in a specific way. I want to know also what kind of, and you said some already, but what are some of the support mechanisms that you have in place to support the very small, the micro clients? Okay, so the first thing we've been doing is one, um, a couple of weeks ago, we started to extend some payment holidays to specific clients. That was really to allow us the time to get in contact with each client. And so over the next couple of days and weeks, as we communicate with each, there are specific suite of business products that we have introduced that we will ensure that we extend the best fit to each client. Those new business line products have specific moratoriums on them that will consider the type of business that is operating. So that is in trade now. Importantly, we want to make sure, which I think Dr. King also mentioned and yourself, that we provide, we collaborate with stakeholders to provide some business advisory support. So we want to ensure that the persons are managing their current finances in a certain way and that they're properly preparing to get back up on their feet. It's not going to happen just like that. And we want to ensure that when it is time, they know exactly how they're going to operate. So we're going to be collaborating with some persons to ensure that they begin to have those plans in place. Also, as mentioned before, ensuring that we can give some psychological and moral support, which is very, very important at this time. And I do believe it's an important time for us to discuss with key stakeholders how we can help the micro persons to become more formalized. I want to reiterate that my micro borrowers, our clients, um, they're willing to do all it takes to ensure that they're compliant. But we have to ensure that the systems can allow them to do it in a very simple way. We're wrapping up, Jillian, but I have to put one last wrapping question up. in. Because there are some people who are watching that are not yet clients, but, they, but they've been funding their business on their own. Is the door open for them to contact you and say, no, I need We are. Help. We are ready for them. Um, so we have been focusing on our existing clients, our 20,000 clients, but we are ready to serve new clients who need that at this time. That's amazing news. Thank you so much, Jillian Hyde, for speaking with us, General Manager for JN Small Business Loans.